My name is Enrique Juncosa, and I'm a writer and a freelance curator. I am from Mallorca, like Miquel Barceló, and we befriend each other when we were quite young. I think was 18, he's a few years older than myself. And then I've been following his work since the very beginning. I actually organized quite a few projects with him. And this uh, Bodegon Gletscher is a painting from 1990. It belongs to a series of glaciers, of views of glaciers, that Barcelo painted in the summer of that year near St. Moritz. The glacier in the image is actually called Rosek Glacier, it's in the Rosek Valley, and is not too far from St. Moritz. When he was there, Bruno Bischoberger, his English de Swiss dealer, arranged for him to have a helicopter to go to the glaciers. So he did this group of works. So I think this uh, story of he traveling with a helicopter to paint glaciers is part of the myth of, of this artist that is always engaged in singular projects that then were exhibited for the first time in a big exhibition in Nîmes, organized the following year in 1991, curated by Bob Kahl, who was the director of the Museo d'Art Contemporain in Nîmes at that time. And, and uh, he was showing a lot of artists when he was director then. The painting is, all of these paintings, the group of paintings, they are not very large. They are about 70 centimeters by 110. And most of them are pure landscapes. But this one is also a still life. Here, the name of the painting, Bodegón means a still life in Spanish, and Gletscher means glacier in German. So basically, the title of the painting in English will be The Glacier Still Life. And you see the landscape with the glacier, and in the bottom of the painting, in the right side, there are three onions, making it like a still life. Um, the, the paintings are also, this painting of glaciers, the last, let's call, white paintings that he did for four years, starting in 87, which are among the most celebrated paintings of the work of Miquel Barceló. In 87, he made one of the, the, the series of white paintings that are, they have different groups of paintings. No? He did what called improvisations in which he painted small objects like grapes, glasses of wine, peppers, apples, things like that on a kind of liquid white landscape. And he painted these reflections. So converting still lives in landscapes, what he does again in Bodegón Glacier. But I think the glaciers are in interesting for Barceló because Another way he made this white painting was he using the canvas and a stretch on the floor, and he was pouring very large amounts of paint, and the paint itself, while settling or drying out, will create like rivers or lake, or advance in the same way the ice advances in glaciers. So painting the glaciers is a kind of metaphor of paint always transforming itself and created new shapes and forms. So, and the white paintings to which the glaciers belong to is probably one of the most celebrated uh, series of works by Barceló. They're very important ones, just before the bullfightings that they came afterwards. And then, uh, for example, this decade, he's been making a lot of white paintings again. Um, as well following a stay in New York. That's why, I mean, somehow it's like if Barceló relates New York with white paintings and Robert Ryman. But, but the, the, most of the things he, he were invaded during this period in between 87 and 1990. There, there is a, another thing that uh, I think could be said in relation to this painting, and it's um, that is a kind of irony and sense of humor in it. And we see these three small onions in the same size as the glacier behind. But, um, but it's not only irony, and I think because it, it, it has a kind of, um, it, it gives the, the painting a kind of pathos by making these, these fruits 
holding together like in a Morandi still life in the middle of the, uh, the, the snow and the glacier and the ice and the storm. So it's about the frailty of things as well and, and the poetry of life continuing. So it, it has a, a kind of irony, but also kind of serious uh, way of seeing the painting as well.